As you may know, one of the biggest reasons why English is so damn hard to learn is because there are tons of ways to say the same thing. So today, I'm going to show you several different ways that you can say yes or I agree. People often use colloquial speech and suddenly you have no idea what they are talking about. Even something as simple as yes has dozens of different ways you can say it depending on the situation. If you are hanging out with your friends and you're deciding what to do, for example, if somebody says, let's go to Disneyland, instead of saying yes, you can say, let's do it, or I'm down, or I'm so down. I'm down and let's do it are super common. In fact, you can say this to anything. So if they say, do you want to get coffee? You can say, I'm down. Or let's go on vacation to Hawaii. I'm down. They both work. You can always use I'm down when you agree with something. I'm down and let's do it can be used for very simple situations or for epic situations. Simple situations like let's get coffee, you can say I'm down or let's do it. Or for more epic situations, the emotion, the facial expressions are also really important to convey what you're trying to say. So you can even add words to the beginning like I'm so down or I'm totally down or yeah let's do it something like that and that really shows that you're really interested like maybe your eyes get really wide like yeah I'm so down or yeah let's do it some people also like to say sign me up sign me up is a good one but only if it's a big deal so for instance if somebody asks you to go to a three Michelin star restaurant or let's take a vacation to Europe, then you can say, sign me up. You can think of it something like you're signing up to join a conference or you're signing up to join an event. That's where the term sign me up comes from. It's like you're interested in attending something. For example, if your friend asks if you want to go skiing with them, sign me up. Or if they say, do you want to take a vacation to go to Toronto with me? sign me up or even hell yeah in fact if you're saying yeah you can add pretty much all the swear words in front of it to make it more extreme hell yeah fuck yeah shit yeah i wouldn't recommend you use it but you may hear other people use it that's all now similar to sign me up is you don't have to ask me twice if somebody asks you to do something that you really want to do like maybe you like video games so your friend asks you if you want to go to a video game conference then you can say you don't have to ask me twice or i really like clubbing so someone might ask do you want to go to ai sign me up or you don't have to ask me twice a good way to remember you don't have to ask me twice is if you really like something somebody should just have to ask you one time and you should agree right away and that's why when you say you don't have to ask me twice it means you really like it now if a situation is better than you expected it to be food is a good example if you order a coffee and you think it's just gonna be like hi how or like whatever and you take a sip and it's really good you can be like oh yeah that's what i'm talking about something like that or for any food pizza ice cream noodles hot pot you taste it and it's better than you expect you just say oh yeah that's what i'm talking about or maybe you go visit a new country and you take a look at the scenery and it's incredible and you can say whoa that's what i'm talking about pretty much anything that you see or experience that's better than you expect and you really like it you just say that's what i'm talking about so here's a list of the phrases i use today Best way to remember all these is to just keep listening for them and keep trying to use them in the situations that I talked about and it'll help you remember and make your English more natural and more colloquial. I hope this has helped you out. Please remember to like and to subscribe and comment, of course, if you like these videos and tell me which ones you want to see more of so that I know which videos to make because remember, I'm here for you.